In this video, we are going to talk about horizontal transformations, and this is shifting the graph left and right. And so, mathematically, these are defined by y equal to f of x minus h and x plus h. So, we're adding a number and subtracting a number, but this time we're adding and subtracting a number inside the parentheses with the x. And so, if you watched the previous video, which was vertical transformations, the difference here is that Last time in the vertical transformations, we were adding and subtracting a number outside of the parentheses. And so let's look at the, each of the graphs of these and how they affect our original function. So again, I'm using a free online calculator um, called Desmos, desmos.com. And it's free, so you can go to it, you can use it, play around with it. It's great and um, has a lot of different things you can do with it. So, I'm going to start with the parent function x squared, f of x equal x squared, which is the squaring function. And now I am just going to just add some numbers in the parentheses and let's see what happens with that graph. So, if I add 2 in the parentheses and square that, so notice this is the darker red function. So, the lighter red one is my parent function, and the darker red one is when I added the 2. And so, notice what happened to the graph. Let me do it again, this time. I'm going to add four to the graph, and this is the blue function. So notice what happens when I added four. So when I added two, it took my parent function and shifted it to the left two. When I added four, it took my parent function and shifted it to the left four. So it's doing the opposite of what I think it would do. Like I thought it would have moved to the right four and to the right two when I think about it, but it's actually doing the very opposite. So let's do that with another parent function and see if the same thing will happen. Let's look at the absolute value function. So I'm going to take the absolute value function. So my absolute value function is shaped like a V. I am going to take the absolute value of X, and this time I'm going to add 3 to it. And let's see what happens. So the blue one is my new graph, so the red one is my parent function, and notice when I added 3, it shifted it to the left 3 unit. So what do you think is going to happen when I add 5? If you said shift to the left 5, then you are correct. So that darker red is what happens when I add 5 inside with the X. And so we can say, if I go back to my screen here, whenever you add a number inside the parentheses, it shifts the graph to the left. So when you add a number inside the parentheses, it shifts to the left h unit. So whatever h is, that's how many times it's going to shift. So now let's see what happens when you subtract. So this time I'm going to use the square root function. And I am going to, instead of add, I'm going to subtract the number each time in those parentheses. So let's do x minus 2. See what happens. So the red one is my parent function here. And now when I subtract 2, look what happened. It shifted to the right 2 units. Let's subtract 2. Let's see what happens to the consistent. So the darker red is my new one. So it took the parent function and shifted it to the right 4 units. Let's try a different parent function and see if the same thing happens. Let's do the cuban function. This will work with any base function you have. Um, so if I take f of x equal x, let's say subtract 3 and raise it to the third power, the darker red is my new function. So look, it took the original parent function and it shifted it to the right 3 units. So that point that was at 0, 0 is now here at 3, 0. What if I subtract 5? f of x equal x minus 5 raised to the third power. So the blue one is my new function. So it took the original parent function and shifted it to the right 5 units. So now I can see that whenever I subtract the number inside the parentheses with the x, then it shifts it the opposite way of where I think it would go. It shifts to the right So these are your horizontal transformations. This is how you shift the graph left and right. You either add or subtract the number inside with the X, 
and you do the actual opposite. So if you wanted to go to the right, then you subtract the number. If you want to go to the left, then you add a number. These are your horizontal transformations. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you include them in the comments below.